Hello, wonderful people. Let me check something, okay? I want to make sure uh, everything is connected. Imram, good to see you. Let me see if I'm connected everywhere. And yes, I am. Okay, uh, <laughs> wonderful people. Good to see you. Although I don't see you, but anyway, good to see you. So, uh, I'm going to carve for a few minutes. And I am working on... Uh, another part for my project so there's going to be uh, multiple columns like this and uh, some of the parts are going to be applied like this okay i'm not sure if um, you're going to be able to see much better but that is the part uh, going to be applicable to that part okay so right there uh, so good to see you wonderful brothers yes hi <laughs> all right so let me Say hello to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, please, um, uh, please comment, okay? Uh, please uh, go to a live chat and uh, comment where you're from. And if you do have a question, please uh, don't, uh, you know, be afraid to ask me any questions. But uh, today I do have a specific subject. If I'm looking away from the uh, from the camera, don't pay attention. What I want to uh, say. Uh, if you're watching me on, uh, let's say, on Facebook or Twitch or any other platform other than YouTube, uh, please go to my YouTube channel, which is YouTube forward slash Grabovetsky. It's much better quality. Uh, also, I want to ask you right away, pretty much. Uh, uh, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do and hit that notification bell. Uh, that would probably help you a lot better. Uh, it's gonna, you know, YouTube gonna send you some emails uh, notifying you. Okay, I'm not sure why is that showing. <coughs> Mark Adams School. But anyway, so that was the school I was uh, last week. It shouldn't show. Uh, so, uh, that is what I was trying to show. YouTube forward slash Grabovetsky. Now, if you on Facebook or Instagram, uh, please um, just uh, subscribe. Not to subscribe, but follow me, Woodcarver Grabovetsky, on both of those platforms. I also on Pinterest the same way, uh, Woodcarver Grabovetsky. Uh, just go right there and uh, follow me, okay? That way you're not going to miss any updates, right? So good to see you. Good to see you, wonderful people. Uh, Canada, it's still summer, I believe. Uh, great. Okay, wonderful people. Let me start. Okay. Uh, so again, let me give you some update. So I am working on uh, one of the columns, which I'm not filming. I'm not filming that uh, for um, my school side because it's nothing to show. It's pretty much just the columns and exactly the same what I had on my uh, uh, other uh, which is uh, you saw previously if you're part of my school but uh, the same idea there is a small movement goes inside of the cavity uh, which um, in this case uh, just the four pieces right there and that is only one section uh, there is going to be a couple more uh, pieces uh, I'm going to apply like this which is going to be right here so that is the upper part and I also do have a lower part which is going to be you know, this part, which is going to go on another side of the column, which is somewhere right there. So, and I'm not going to be able to show it to you because it's big, right? So it's really, really big, right? Wonderful people. So, uh, and uh, uh, I just started today pretty much uh, and uh, the process is easy. Like I said, it's the same what you saw previously, but today what I want to talk about, I want to talk about the problem. Uh, I had previously until this year okay and the problem uh, what I had to you know to deal with it's um, uh, as a wood carver sometimes you really have to uh, create the really tight cuts like a really really tiny cuts like even uh, I can show right here so uh, you can see how really really tiny cuts uh, yes, and I used the uh, machine, but there was a problem because uh, it's okay. I can probably fit about two inches on my scroll saw, but what about if it's like a six and a quarter, which in this case, it's a six and a quarter high, and how do I do 
this tiny cut and uh, there is just uh, no scroll so with the capacity of uh, like a six and a quarter inches so and uh, i believe every one of you probably do have the same problem okay if you would carver of course so how can you create those really really tight cuts tight uh, turns and uh, i was uh, teaching in april in mark adams school and uh, together uh, there's multiple classes going on because he's got you know one of the biggest uh, schools uh, pretty much in north america uh, i'm talking about mark adams and uh, one of the teachers one of the instructors uh, his name is jeff uh, he was teaching uh, uh, some project which involves scroll saw okay mark adams doesn't have uh, a spe uh, specific scroll so what i'm going to talk about today uh, he has just the normal ones and as you know on a normal scroll saw the smallest blade you can fit it's only one eighth of an inch okay and yes i do have a multiple scroll saws i do have a uh, uh, like a huge one uh, with the 24 inches capacity i can just uh, get you know my cuts with the 24 inches high pieces but the smallest blade is uh, one eighth of an inch and one eighth of an inch uh, you can work around i mean you can just kind of wiggle and just get that tight uh, cut but you cannot get really clean cut and also the blade itself one eighth of an inch i don't know about you but uh, i do break but anyway, so when I was teaching uh, in Mark Adams school in April, uh, there was a, a teacher, instructor, uh, which uh, he makes living only with the band so for over 30 years. And he also writes books about uh, the band so His name is uh, uh, Jeff Volmer. And he showed me, he brought uh, <laughs> to school, uh, I mean, he just pulled the whole trailer from his house. He's only about maybe an hour and a half from school. He lives in Ohio, I believe. And he... Uh, uh, he brought his own bandsaw, which is uh, not that big bandsaw, but he just brought to show that. It's really heavy, uh, really heavy. But I was really, really, really amazed. It was a big surprise. The blade on that thing, the blade was only about um, half a millimeter. Okay? Half a millimeter. Not one eighth, but half a millimeter. So with the half a millimeter blade, I'm able to do pretty much any tight curve. Okay, so uh, now if you look right behind me, right there, that is the saw. Once I saw that, uh, you know what Jeff uses at home, he didn't use that uh, at school. Okay, he didn't because the school doesn't have those uh, bands. So they have normal ones, okay, Deltas uh, and other brands, but they don't, I mean, uh, they, they have multiple, like I said, you know, really good ones, but nothing compares to this one. Again, so this band saw first of all i'm not sponsored okay don't get me wrong i'm not getting even one penny i can't even place a link probably because uh, there's uh, no product uh, review <laughs> you know paid promotion or anything no 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 uh today i'm coming to you as a wood carver as a brother to brother or brother to sister in a you know in the case of uh cheryl so uh because i had a problem how to get those tight you know curves okay how to get those really 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 tight curves like that okay no band saw on the market no band saw on the market can do what that saw able to okay so which means once i saw that when jeff showed me when i came home uh i flew on sunday uh, I came home like about 1 a.m. on Monday and uh, right when I woke up, I ordered that saw pretty much right away, okay? Because I had absolutely no doubt that would be the best saw I ever probably had. And the brand of it, Pegas. With this saw, with the Pegas saw, with the half a millimeter blade, you will be able to cut as tiny as possible. I can get um, two speaks from it, okay? I can probably show you uh, maybe I can find uh, some cutout I had uh, a couple days ago. Uh, maybe I threw away. Oh, right there. Uh, see the, how tiny piece that is, okay? So that is absolutely... Oops. <laughs> maybe I can just uh, show you uh, from different perspective. Right there. So see, that is like a toothpick, pretty much. 
So that is how tight you can get it. All right. So that is uh, how tight you can get those curves. I can show you. I can show to you uh, uh, maybe, uh, you know, the video, the short video about how I how I've done uh, those pieces. OK, so let me get that video on. Hold on just a second right there. That is, uh, I mean, amazing. Again, we're talking about six and a quarter inches capacity. All right, so that is the best one. Uh, hello, John, good to see you. Hello, Bryce, good to see you. Uh, well, uh, the question about the model, let me try to show it to you. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it to you. Well, not this one. Right there is uh, uh, the name of it. Don't pay attention to my golden ratio. I use that as a <laughs> holding my hooks and some of the tools. Uh, but uh, I think the only model is this one, okay? So uh, it doesn't show any model specific. I I'm pretty sure there's uh, some model number, but as far as I know, this brand has the only one model. Uh, if you just Google Pegas, uh, scroll band saw. It's not just a band saw. It's called scroll band saw. You'll be able to find it. But uh, take a look. I mean, I, I can place my finger and uh, see how tiny blade is. Okay. So absolutely, you can't find on the market anything like this. Okay. Absolutely, the best of the best. It's a half a mil. Uh, you can get half a mil. You can get a full millimeter, and uh, and the blade is uh, really stable. Okay. I had absolutely no problem with the blade whatsoever. Okay, so and in my opinion, in my opinion, if you do have that saw, uh, there's a lot of problems solved. Okay, especially if you're carving, um, you know, not that big pieces, and if you you able to fit actually, you know, the piece uh, toward that, you could just rotate and turn all around, just like on a bench. So let me actually measure it, just in case if you have a question what uh, capacity I have this way and uh, I have about um, clear about 13 and a quarter okay so about 13 and a quarter inches and like I said as far as the height wise I can go all the way to six and a quarter is clear six and three eighths but six and a quarter I would say it's probably uh, the safest okay so uh, and uh, no, I mean, uh, if you do have a question, if you would just uh, buy a blade, which is really stable, I, I'm really surprised. If you just buy a blade and if, if you can just install on a 14 inch um, um, band saw, just a normal one, which you have probably Rikon or any other, so it's not gonna work. Uh, first of all, uh, it's a specialty guide. So that is actually goes right inside of the groove of this specialty guide. And uh, another thing, is the wheel itself how it's uh, built okay so that wheel is a little different uh, from other bands so, so it's not going to work if you're planning to just buy uh, that blade so it's not going to work at all but uh, it's just uh, simple and i think uh, why they got really good results just because of that guide okay and the way it's actually uh, gets inside of the group roof uh, on a upper guide and there's a lower guide also the same way and it's just a uh, really stable and uh, it holds you know the squareness with no problem like i said uh, you saw those pieces right here and uh, i measured that with my 
angle and it's just absolutely perfect, okay? Perfect 90 degrees all the way. Perfect 90 degrees. So again, like I said, if you do have that uh, bandsaw, uh, you're gonna solve um, a lot of problems. <laughs> like I like I said, I mean, I had uh, you know some projects and uh, I had to be really creative. How am I gonna get really tiny cuts? Well, of course, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I can uh, I can do uh, by hand, you know, just the chopping everything and uh, not a problem whatsoever. That's why I do have uh, <laughs> wood carving tools. But if there's a machine which is going to save me a lot of time and uh, all of those pieces, all of those, okay, all of them, uh, pretty much, I mean, and I've got four pieces, uh, it's a two columns, but I have to do another columns also. It took me, I don't know, for all of them, like about an hour at, at the most, okay, at the most, uh, all together. I mean, the cut and clean and... Uh, you know, of course, just because it's a band, so I had to send it. All right, let me read the, some comments. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, as far as the model, like I said, it's as far as I know, I mean, there is probably a model, but like I said, I'm not selling anything. I'm not promoting anything. I'm just saying to you, uh, if you're serious about uh, a band, so and if you... Uh, shopping for the band so just don't buy the cheap one or just don't buy uh what the normal band sauce it's about the same price maybe maybe this one costs a little more than uh you know obviously it's a little more than uh grizzly i would say and uh, rikon uh but still uh, it's a one-time investment but it's gonna last you i don't know whatever uh, just google uh pegas okay sean good to see you Lancaster, South Carolina. Wow, I used to live uh, in North Carolina, Charlotte. I know exactly where the Lancaster located. Okay, um, Cheryl, the only thing you cannot pierce through, do <laughs> yes, absolutely, you cannot, but <laughs> it's a band saw, obviously. Uh, if you need to pierce it, uh, so you have to just, uh, of course, that is just uh, for outside the perimeter, for outside the outline. So that is uh, um, the only use. You're right. So you can do that. Okay, another question uh, from Mr. S. If you were to buy only one, you choose between scroll saw and a band saw. Well, it depends on the projects, okay? First of all, I can't see myself uh, just uh, using scroll saw. Um, scroll saw, it's... Uh, must have tool for me because I, I do have a lot of scrolling and uh, uh, I mean my scroll saw capacity it's about two inches I have absolutely no problem with the two inches so if you carving uh, let's say no thicker piece than two inches or eight quarters then scroll saw probably way to go and uh, you're gonna save some money uh, mine is not that cheap mine is over thousand dollars because I've, I've got the professional level scroll saw uh, but uh, if, uh, if uh, let's say, if you like to carve uh, figurines or caricature, uh, let's say, you know, hey, like some people say in Santa Claus carvers, uh, they use a lot of, you know, scrolling around the four sides, uh, bent, bent so way to go. I mean, furniture makers, okay? Let's say if you're just doing a Queen Anne uh, leg, and uh, let's say the curvatures are really big and uh, you do have some fancy stuff going on besides just the canter sleeve. So if you want to do some kind of molding at the top, you know, just a really, really nice uh, profile molding. Band saw, okay? Absolutely. I mean, not just a band saw, but this band saw. Because like I said, that's a tight uh, curve. Again, so if, you, if, uh, if you're working only with the two inch stock, scroll saw. If you're working thicker than that, if you're doing a furniture and, you know, uh, you're working with the thick stuff like a six inches band saw, okay? But anyway, I mean, for me, uh, I can't, I, I, I don't think I can live uh, <laughs> without uh, both of them. Although I used to live without this band saw, I have two more uh, in my shop. It's uh, pretty much in my garage right now. The big one, like I said, 24 inches and I've got another uh 14 all right so 
uh, I use them all the time. Yesterday, for example, those columns I'm working on right now, uh, those ones, all right, uh, I use the big band saw. Obviously, that would be a little too much for this little baby, but the big saw, I mean, big band saw, I use this one, all right? So let me see what else. All right. Keith is saying, thank you so much for sharing your insight on the saw. Oh, absolutely, Keith. Absolutely. Uh, no problem. Again, I'm not making anything, okay? So no promotion whatsoever. I'm not making even one penny on it, okay? So don't get me wrong. They're not sponsoring me. Uh, I am telling you uh, as a wood carver, just a fellow wood carver who had a problem and found the solution. It's just like a homeless guy who would find a bread or source source of the bread and he would go to other guys and he would just tell them hey i've got the source uh, and uh, just uh, go right there and get it okay so that's the only intention and he's saying it's about fifteen hundred dollars i guess someone has asked uh, how much it is it could be uh, 15 or maybe 2000 i don't know but uh, you have to check i don't remember exactly how much i paid but um again it's it's not only uh, the band saw itself you have to buy some blades okay and i bought some extra blades uh, which is uh um I, I i do have a really tiny blade like a half a millimeter but uh, some of the blades you don't need to have a half a millimeter blade uh, in most of the cases one millimeter blade you still be able to do like a toothpick cuts with no problem okay well, Bryce, that is what I'm talking about. What band saw am I recommending? That's the that's the one I'm talking about right now. Okay, so that's the one. Okay, let me show that to you. This baby. Okay, so that is a Pegasus, and uh, let me see which one is going to show you much better. This one right here. Okay, so that is the scroll saw. Well, that's actually band saw, but it's called scroll saw. Okay, you don't see that, but uh, maybe i just turn this a little higher see it says scroll saw band saw i mean scroll band saw right so that's the one um, i mean that's what i like all right that's what i like hope it helps wonderful people and uh, please uh, please 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 uh share it okay uh, it's important okay just uh, uh share it uh, you know if you're on facebook uh, just to share that to other woodworking groups if you think it's gonna help them uh also don't forget to like it please uh, give me some uh, please love and likes doesn't matter where you at okay if you on facebook or uh, youtube don't forget it okay why is that important uh it is important because uh, uh how google calculates everything nowadays is just by algorithm so if there's no likes, there's no reason to show it to anybody, okay? If 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 you like my videos, okay? I'm not asking you, I'm not begging you, it's up to you, of course. But uh, it would be really, really appreciated if you can do that, okay? So give me some love, please. Give me some love. Now, again, uh, if you do have a Facebook or if you have a uh, Instagram, follow me. Woodcarver Grabovetsky. Uh, uh, Pinterest is exactly the same, I believe exactly the same on the Twitter okay just follow me all right let me check uh, if there's any questions and again please uh, accept my apologies if I'm looking away all right James thank you very much Ariana wonderful my Tajik friend so Imram, thank you very much. Okay, what brand blades are you using? Uh, it's the wonderful question. The only brand, the only brand works with that saw, it's made by the Pegas, okay? With the same brand, okay? So they selling uh, the same blades, okay? I mean, there's no other blades uh, will fit. They're not gonna work. Uh, again, it's uh, all about uh, it's all about uh, the channel, okay? Because the channel and how it uh, uses that guide, okay? So that's a Pegas saw and the Pegas blades, okay? So you have to shop, you know, from the same place. And uh, multiple uh, places uh, you can buy that. There's no Amazon, 
I can't provide you with Amazon link or anything. Uh, I believe uh, Highland, it's, uh, it's for you, Ariana. Uh, Highland uh, hardware in Atlanta, they do sell it, but it's, uh, it's going to be um, drop ship. So you have to order and wait until it's going to be coming from manufactured uh, to you directly. Okay. Thank you very much, wonderful people. I think I think it's enough for today. Again, I'm going to show what I'm working on, and I'm working on uh, on those columns, and I'm going to repeat myself. Those little pieces are going to be uh, applied, you know, just like that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you a much better picture. All right, hold on, just a second, right there. So that is going to be applied uh, on the top, and there's going to be another piece going all the way <laughs> opposite direction all right so that's going to be something like that thank you very much wonderful people have a great day i hope i hope i'm gonna uh, connect again next time next week and uh, i don't know if it's going to be wednesday or not but i am trying I'm trying to do on Wednesdays about 2 p.m. Uh, it's uh, kind of okay time for me, good for me and good for some European uh, people who's watching me from Europe. And uh, next week, like I said, it's going to be about Wednesday, I would say, 2 p.m. New York time, okay? Thank you very much, wonderful people. Thank you. Just uh, stay safe, be careful, and uh, give a gift of smile to someone today. Have a good one.